Hi, and welcome to this short flight review from Montreal to Toronto. Today we're flying on an Airbus A330 in Air Canada's signature class. It's an unusually large plane with a lot of amenities for such a short route. I bought this ticket with points during the holidays and it ended up being cheaper flying signature class than economy class on this route. Before boarding, we visited the Maple Leaf Lounge at Montreal's airport. Unlike most North American airlines, Air Canada includes lounge access with their business class tickets, even for domestic flights. However, I have to say it was a small lounge and it was quite busy. The food selection was standard for a lounge, but the bar, although self-service, was tiny. I have to mention the bathrooms that are probably the saddest I've seen so far. Barely an upgrade from regular airport restrooms. This airplane has a 1 to 1 configuration, so if you're traveling with someone else and you want a window view, you won't be able to sit next to each other. My seat for this flight was 2K. The seat was spacious. I appreciated the remote since the screen was far. There was plenty of power outlets. Commands were easy to use. There was even a massage function, but it didn't do much. The seat came down almost completely flat. I have to say my legs were a bit tight when in horizontal position. Uh, I'm a short man so I can imagine someone taller feeling easily squeezed. There's not a lot of storage around the seat. You can have a bag at your feet for example, but if you want to lay down you'll have to move it. I found the seat belt confusing to use. Uh, it even fell apart as I picked it up and I wasn't sure if I had to wear both parts or just the lower part. The front lavatory was standard, however, I was the first person using it and the sink was already clogged. After pushing back, we went through a quick de-icing. I made a separate video for those of you who are interested in seeing the whole process. I thought the entertainment system was good. It featured newly released movies and a few games. I like that the food selection was available directly on the screen. I could also see my connecting flight information and the boarding gate, although I checked later during the flight and the information was gone. Wi-Fi was not included with my ticket, but Air Canada does offer free messaging for Aeroplan members now. I used it and it worked well for me. There was no pre-departure drink offered on this flight apart from a bottle of water. I'm not sure if they just forgot it or if they never offer one. However, there was a small plated snack offered. That surprised me for such a short flight. 
it was quite tasty. We also had a complimentary drink and almonds as an extra snack. I decided to get a glass of white wine. Cheers to this one hour flight with extra amenities. Globally, I think it was a great experience for such a short flight. For comfort, I will give it 4 stars. I really would have appreciated more storage. The food surprised me, but there was no pre-departure drink. I give it 4.5 stars. The service was professional and quick. I give it 4 stars. Entertainment was good and text messaging was free. I think it deserves 4 stars. I have to say a word regarding punctuality. Air Canada has a bad reputation in that regard and they unfortunately left to their expectations on this flight. There was no wait anywhere, nobody in line to take off, the de-icing process was fast, yet we managed to arrive 15 minutes late. I can see how the smallest mishap causes great disturbance for them. I hope you liked my video and don't forget to subscribe.